Hello everyone, my name is Nina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My channel is mostly about fragrances and feminine lifestyle. So if you are interested in fragrances, please uh, don't forget to subscribe and like my videos. I appreciate your support. Um, today's video is a girly haul. There are a couple of fragrance reviews that I'm throwing in there, um, but it also is just a girly haul, things that I have um, gotten recently that are very girly, like the headband that I am wearing right here. As you can see, it is great for, um, you know, putting back your, well, I use it to put on my makeup in the morning, just to keep my um, hair back and out of your face while you're putting on your makeup. Um, it also is just adorable. So, you know, if you're lounging around the house, maybe you're whatever, doing whatever you, you're you doing and you just want your hair out of the way, this is adorable. I got it off of um, Amazon the other day and I just absolutely loved it. So, um, and it is by The Cream Shop. Um, I don't have the box anymore, but it is by The Cream Shop and they have these big oversized bows that you just can use. It's made out of terry cloth, so you can get it wet if you're using it to wash your face or whatnot. Um, so that is the first one and I'm leaving this on. And yes, I am reviewing all this in like a little kimono to keep with the, uh, you know, the theme. So, all right. The next one that I'm going to review is I actually got a, I wanted to try the Fenty Makeup by Rihanna, um, the foundation. And I actually had gone between two, the matchstick and then their regular foundation. So I tried both um, and I ended up liking the matchstick for a very light coverage. Um, I think it's a great buy, especially for the um, amount of product that you get in here. Now, this one is not, this one I just bought, this one is not what I use as my um, base color. This is gonna be what I use as a bronzer, but I liked the base color so much that I went back today and got the um, bronzer stick. So you just kind of use it on like your cheekbone areas, you know, your nose or wherever you like to contour. And I'm going to try it because um, I really liked the foundation. It was just light um, and it gives you a really skin kind of look. If you just, I just applied it on my beauty blender and then just kind of used it that way. And it was very skin like. However, because it is a match uh, contour stick, it seemed to last longer than foundation. It, foundation seems to kind of get greasy and start to, you know, break down at the end of the day, especially with the masks right now, just rubbing off. Um, so I really liked that. Um, so then I thought I'd let y'all know that that Fenty makeup is what is going on, especially with all those different colors that, um, she has a wide, wide range of selection. So I really like that. Um, the next one is just something I kind of picked up. It is called Beauty Bubbles Hydration. And it is like a little effervescent um, tablet that you just put in eight ounces of water and drink it. It has hydraulic acid, um, antioxidant, antioxidants, for cellular protection. So really, this is like taking your vitamins for your skin, BioCell or things like this that people sometimes take. This is just to stay, keep your um, complexion hydrated, to keep your body hydrated. It's got like green tea extract. It actually does have some caffeine in it. So I thought this would be a good kind of morning drink um, without having all the, you know, things that coffee kind of has. Um, it's also got some pomegranate, matcha green tea leaf, um, some really good stuff in here. Pineapple, strawberry, it's tomato. I mean, you're getting fruits and vegetables in this in an effervescent 
little um, tablet. So thought you'd like to hear about it. Uh, Beauty Bubbles, it just makes me feel like I drank a Gatorade, basically. Um, it just makes me feel super hydrated and good and just enough uh, caffeine to kind of give you a little boost, but not too much to make you shaky. So I enjoyed it. Um, next, I have one of my favorite perfumes that I have been waiting for. Oh, I had it upside down. Um, but this is Maison Kirkshawn's Baccarat Rouge 540, little package. No, this is not the first time I've opened it, but I'm opening it again for you guys because I hadn't reviewed it. Um, so this is the bottle. Um, it's a simple bottle. I mean, nothing groundbreaking, but it's a nice, simple bottle. But what's in it? Oh, so good. Um, I did write down the notes. Actually, I'm just going to use it as a little, what do you call it? Sample sprayer. <sighs> this is so good. So this has got saffron, amberwood, jasmine. Basically, this smells like burnt, yeah, like burnt sugar. And it also has like a salty kind of beachy smell. It's amazing. It's got wonderful sillage. It stays on all day. It was worth the money. It is pricey. It is a pricey bottle. And do I think that you can get other perfumes that are comparable to this? Yes, I do. Um, if you don't want to spend the money, a good one to get in place of this is, I would say, Ariana Grande's Cloud. It's pretty much the same. It dries down sweeter than this does, but if you're spraying cloud on your clothes and not your skin, it seems to stay more um, like this smells. Um, it doesn't dry down to that sweetness. On your skin, it gets really sweet. So if you do not want to spend the money for this, I think it's worth it, but um, you'll have to be the judge for that yourself. I love the smell of this. so. It was worth it for me. Um, next, I have something that I didn't expect. I just got this. Um, I saw it in the store and I was like, hmm, I wonder what that smells like. I really just liked the bottle and I don't always love Juicy Couture, but there are a couple of fragrances that I love from them. So it's kind of hit or miss with them. Um, with this one, it is called Bye Bye Blues. I love the bottle. Ombre Blue Blue is one of my favorite colors. I'd probably say white is the first one. And Royal Blue is the second one. This one is pretty dang good, especially for summer right now. Definitely a summer fragrance. I'm going to spray this on my hand. Now, this one has got watery notes. It, it says it's got watery notes, and I feel like that is an accurate description because it does smell like very watery. Um, it's got lemon and then some floral and some driftwood. It smells great for summertime. It just reminds me of like, I don't know, yachting. Just being on like a boat in like white clothes and being on a yacht. Yeah, that's how I, mm -hmm. that's how I picture this. But you know me, I'm going to picture things very bougie. That's just, it's just how I am. But no, this one smells amazing for summer. I love this one. I'm going to be adding that one to my collection. And when it is gone, I will probably repurchase. So yes, that is going to be one that stays in my collection. Oh, okay. So this is called Honey and Cream by Philosophy, and it is a, a body butter. Now, I had reviewed before Fresh Cream by Philosophy in one of my other fragrance videos, and this smells like fresh milk. Milk and sugar. I mean, that's it's a simple fragrance. However, when you layer the honey and cream with the fresh cream. Oh my goodness. 
This smells like milk and honey and sweetness. It, I love it. I love layering these two. So now I am going to be wearing these together and I feel like it is dangerous. It smells so amazing. So just thought I would mention about the honey and cream. It is a awesome body butter by itself. Philosophy has great body butters anyway. So check this one out if you get a chance. And I think, oh, I have one more for you guys. This is Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. I ended up getting this because I found out that it was getting discontinued and I went to go smell it and I was like, oh, that is pretty dang good. Reason I wanted to try it is because the designer that designed this one, 540, also designed this one for Sarah Jessica Parker. So I wanted to try it out. It smells amazing. It is not a typical sweet celebrity fragrance. Um, it is like a silky white amber fragrance. It's got rosewood, lavender, orchid, amber. The lavender on this is very, it's not sharp. It's very discreet. This is a powdery, soft, discreet scent. I could wear this. I mean, I like wearing it running errands, um, but it, cause it smells, it's just very discreet, very subtle, very feminine and powdery. Um, I would definitely wear this to work or daytime uh, fragrance. So if you get a chance, like I said, they are discontinuing this. So if you see it and you want to snatch it up, I think they are going for a very good price because they are discontinuing. And that, my lovelies, is the end of this video. My girly haul. So if you have any questions or any girly things that you've bought lately that you want to tell me about, I would love to hear about it. And other than that, I will see you guys next time.